Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Virtual Skills and I am Latiful Vari with you. Hello guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to use Grammarly app on your Android phone. I will also show you the correct way to set up and configure Grammarly keyboard for your phone. And I will give you the practical example that how it works with other apps like Gmail, Facebook Messenger, Google Chrome, etc. Well, let's start the actual work. At first, open the Grammarly site on your favorite browser. I have also attached the link in the video description for your convenience. And here you will find the mobile app link. Just click on it. As you can see, I have already installed the app. You just click on install button here. It will take just a few seconds and it is completely free. Now open your Grammarly app. Here click on get started. Now you need to sign in. Use this sign in option if you have an existing account. You may click on not now here, but it's better to sign in overall app performance. If you need to create a new account, just click on Facebook or Google option. I would love to go with my Google account. Now click on your email. Here choose the browser to complete the action. Now after creating the account, just use your login information to sign in. After logged in successfully, you will be redirected to your Grammarly app, like this. Now we will set up and configure the Grammarly keyboard. Click on add Grammarly keyboard here and you will be redirected to manage keyboard option. Here click on switch on Grammarly. Now click on OK. Well now click on switch input method. Here change your keyboard to Grammarly. Now adjust your keyboard looks. I always love the dark one. Now switch on keyboard borders if you like and especially the number row. Here click on continue. And we are done. Now let's customize our keyboard a little bit more. Click on Customize. You can also change the input language here. For me, English is good. Now switch on the extra symbol keys. I think the rest is good as default. But if you want, you can change your keyboard heights from here. I'll keep it as default. And I love this emoji option. So keeping it as default. Well, you can also change the Grammarly settings. You can switch on or switch off any settings according to your needs. But for me, default settings are good. So guys, our Grammarly keyboard configuration is done. Now I'll show you the practical examples that how it works with other apps on your phone. Let's check the Gmail first. Click on Compose. And you can see we have got our Grammarly app icon on the keyboard here. Let's check how it works. Here you can see Grammarly identifies my mistakes and also showing the suggestions. You just need to click on the suggestions. And if you want to switch the other keyboard for any reason then click on this English here and change the input keyboard as per your niche. It's very simple yet effective. Well, let's check our Facebook Messenger app. And you can see Grammarly is working properly. It's showing suggestions and also the spelling and grammar mistakes. It's pretty effective, right? And here you can see it's also working with my mobile browser. In fact, it will work with all other apps pretty smoothly. And I think it's a must-have app for your Android phone. So thank you so much guys for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and stay tuned.